Hello everyone, welcome to the video. In this video, we are going to see how to apply for the Russian e-visa. If you are from one of the 55 countries that Russia announced that they will start electronic visa, you are able to like apply very quickly and get your visa. It only takes four days, even weekend and holidays included. So it's quite fast and quite easy as well. You just need to fill a form and we will see how to fill this form in this video. And what are those 55 states? Those are like European ones, European countries mostly, and also India, Indonesia, Iran, Turkey, and several countries. We can see the full list. If you are from one of these countries, before you needed to go to consulate and have a really long process for the visa application, but currently you are able to get it very quickly with this form. And in this video, we will see how to fill it. We see the processes here. We need to fill the form, make the payment. The payment is actually about $50. Uh, they are not getting as a Russian rubles, they are getting for Chinese yen. When you like, convert to your money, I think it's like more than $40. They said $40, but it's a bit more than $40. It's like around $50, so it's still not that expensive. You do the payment, and then you are able to get the visa, print out, and you are able to go to uh, Russia. So how can I find the website? I will be leaving in the um, description section. You can find it from there, or you can just like type this and like see the official address. Uh, just use the official address because if you are using some other addresses, it can be a scam or it can be some like agency and it even takes longer and they charge you more even. So just use the Russian official website. It's going to be faster. It's going to be much more convenient. So I say fill in a visa form. And here it says it is up to 16 days. You cannot stay more than 16 days. This visa is not for longer like visits. If you, if, if you are traveling for business to visit France or as a tourist like for like less than 16 days, this visa is for you. But if you are planning to go longer, then you have to like go to consulate for that. And it is a single entry visa. When you get it, the visa, uh, you can use it. You will get like 60 days from the date of issue. And inside those 60 days, you are able to go for 16 days. All the explanations are written here and you can read it if you want, but yeah, it's pretty long. So I just like click, I agree everything and start the application. I already submitted one application for myself. So we see it like it's submitted, but I can like create a new one. You have to log in with your email and password. You are creating an account and you can access your application through that. So I don't need to print it. So I say next. And first thing, it's asking me a photo. And for the photo, you cannot just like take from the phone randomly and upload that. They have a like intelligence system, so it doesn't accept. We can try one demo if you want. So I will just try to upload this my like profile photo for uh, for the YouTube. So if I like try to upload this one, it is rejecting. It's saying that it is both blurred and it is also not against light and like it the background is not white or blue. The background must be white or blue. So it's like a more it needs to be more professional shot. So if I use this one, for example, that's going to be accepted. Everything is clear. I'm arranging my head correctly as well. And I say save. So yeah, it's approved. I'm able to use this kind of photo. After that, I continue and ask my nationality. My nationality is Turkey, so I choose Turkey. And then I need to choose my type of passport. It can be like different options for different countries. For example, let's try Indonesia. If I choose Indonesia, I have three types. I choose the normal passport. And I even see an example of the, each country. So it's really nice that they put an example. You just need to put to like first page of the passport. You don't need to like scan all the like pages. If you have like a visa from another country, some stamps from another country, you don't need to upload at all. And you cannot even upload. It is only asking for your front picture and in a like a, a JPEG, JPEG format, I guess. So, or like with PNG format. And when you upload, it is automatically taking your date of issue, date of expire, uh, but check it. Definitely check it. Sometimes if the quality is not that good, it is not able to get the correct dates. So after that, you are like completing everything here. You are writing about you. It is asking, were you born in USSR? I say no. And asking place of birth. 
and asking if I have like another citizenship as well. If I say yes, it is also asking about it. So I fill all those personal information and continue to next phase. If I continue in the next page, in the next page, it's asking my purpose of visit, the most common one. I choose tourism and then it's going to ask me a question related to that. It's first asking description of purpose. I can say that, for example, yeah, I love traveling and I am also interested in Russian culture, so I want to see it. And I'm planning to go to St. Petersburg or to Moscow. I'm writing about it here. I write something and intended date, for example, I'm planning to go 1st of September, I choose it and it's also giving me the date that's how much I can stay. So I need to leave uh, before like 16th of September before the midnight, then I'm choosing uh, where are you going. So this part is like a bit confusing for people because you are going as a tourist, but it's still asking like, who are you going to visit the name of person? or which organization. So if there is nothing here, you can just like type, uh, choose one of them and type NA for your case. That's gonna be fine. So you don't have to like know anyone in Russia to go. But if you have a friend that you will visit, you can of course write about it. And then where are you going to stay? This is will be this will be your uh, hotel uh, address or like a Airbnb something that you will like book. Say hotel and address number. These are not check like the number or something, so I can just say yes. Do you have a valid a Russian visa? No, but I want to have one. And it is also asking your health insurance. You don't have to have a health insurance to go. But of course, it is recommended to have. But if you don't have, you can just say no. You can still get visa without health insurance. And source of funds, if you choose like something, it is asking details. If it is like sponsored by company or individual, you need to write the details. But if you are paying for yourself, you can just say independently. And it is also asking like which countries have you been in last three years? You can say that you haven't been like anywhere else. Or if you have been somewhere, you can just select those countries for example i have in luxembourg i choose that and if i have like others i am also adding those and then i am continuing with the next page in the next page is the family page uh, it's asking if you are married single i say single about your father's information i also write just useless information here and we continue your mother information and I choose, yeah, then do you have any relatives in Russia? I say, no, I don't have anyone there. Then it is asking if you have a place to stay, like not in Russia, that's like your place, wherever you live. You can even say, no, I don't live anywhere. You live, you live in Citrus Mim. You say yes, and it is asking your address, just your address of your house. So I write my address. I live in Turku, for example, I say. And then asking my telephone number, I'm writing email. Email is actually very important uh, because you are getting email from the consulate when you get your visa application accepted or rejected. And it is asking, do I or do I have any real estate? I say no. And do I have any social network? You don't have to give it, but I think it's fine to give. What can it be? All of my social network is Medicultural. I type Medicultural. Uh, do I study or work? I can say that I don't do anything. I do not work. I do not study. And I say no for everything. Then I can continue. Or if you are working or studying, you can choose that option and fill out your information. And the last page is like um, in also US, it is asking about, are you a terrorist or something? It is like that. Yeah, it is asking, have you been involved in armed conflicts? Have you been prosecuted for any crimes? I say, no. Do you intend to carry out illegal activities? No. And it is also asking if you had a military service, if, if you are from a country that is like a, a mandatory military service, then yeah, you choose it and you tell the country you don't have to give all the information it's not mandatory but it's also asking so you can type and do you have any special training for nuclear weapons biological chemical substances 
I need to say no for all of those. I say no for all of those. And at the end, you can type some additional information that you want to mention. So for example, if you have a friend in Russia, you can talk about it. Like if I have any problem, my friend can help me. And like you can maybe convince the people who are reading your application more. So if you have something, you are typing here. So I say next. Then like I see my summary page. And in summary, I can check out the information if everything is correct. If I say that, yes, yeah, everything is correct. I agree everything. And... I'm aware of the process like payments and then I can go to payment section. I just click pay and it takes me to payment section. As I said earlier, it's getting Chinese yen. And if I check like how much it is, let's calculate to US dollar. 374. It's around $51. So it's not $40, but this can also change. I, I think the Chinese yuan is like quite stable. So it's good that it will not change. It's going to be around like $50. You can use any card except MasterCard, Visa, and like I paid with my MasterCard one. And then I was able to um, get the process done easily. So there's no problem on that. But you cannot use your cards in Russia, your Visa card, your MasterCard, you can use wherever in the world, but you cannot use in Russia because it is one of the sanction that it's those are on people, you know, like on people who are traveling. If you are from Russia, for example, and you have a card from Russia, Russian authorities, you cannot use it in like outside of Russia. And if you have cards, Visa card, MasterCard, international card, you cannot use inside Russia. So that's a problem. There are some solutions. If you wonder about that solutions, you can like research, of course, you can also comment below and like you can tell about your experiences. If you have some experiences, we appreciate. So I encourage everyone to share about the experience here. And yeah, the most, I think, suitable, not the su most suitable, but most easy method that's most, the easiest method that most people do is like getting cash, getting enough cash with you. Since you are not going for like more than 16 days, like you can get enough cash easily but yeah it, you can also get some virtual cards we, you can create some virtual cards that works in russia so it can be union pay i guess uh, we can discuss about those in comments and if you have more questions about this you can type below so we will be there if you liked the video please don't forget to hit the like button and see you in next videos bye bye